So let's find the value of x in this equation. Finding the value of x, this is our solution. So the value of x, our question is 8x plus 4x is equal to 36. So to get the actual value of x now, this is then going to give us a saying. We will need to write this and this. So we can write this out here as saying this is 2 to the power of 3 and x plus 2 to the power of 2 x is equal to 36 so after getting this you can then write this out as in you can bring this here and bring this here which is the same thing because even if we say x multiplied by 3 is still 3x and 3 multiplied by x is still 3x so let's just exchange that that will then give us 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3 plus 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 is equal to 36 so having this now we can here solve here as in this will give us let assume let assume that 2 to the power of x is equals to b so wherever we see this let's put b so this will give us as b to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 2 is equal to 36 so having this value we can then still solve here by saying let's break this down to have b to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 2 negative 36 is equal to 0 then b to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 2 and negative 27 negative 9 is equal to 0 so i will write this so we can still raise them to the power of the same value here so this is b to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 2 negative 3 to the power of 3 negative 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. So having this now, we can then arrange them together. Since this and this has the same power, this and this has the same power, then this will give us as b to the power of 3, negative 3 to the power of 3, plus b to the power of 2, negative 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. So solving this now, this will then give us a same. We can put this in the bracket and bring it out. What is fun? We have b minus this multiply by b squared plus 3b and plus 9 so having this the same thing here plus b minus 3 and we are left with b plus 3 is equal to 0 so having this now we can then check what is common this and this is common so since these two values are common let's pick one of them which is b minus 3 and we pick the rest things here. This is left, which we have b squared plus 3b plus 9. And we are left with this. So this is plus b plus 3. So solving this now, we can then write this out as saying this will give us as b minus 3. And we can look for things that are common here this and this give us 4b and so b to the power of 2 plus 4b plus 9 and 3 that gives us 12. so this is equal to 0 so from this we will then agree that this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0 so therefore b negative 3 is equal to 0 or b squared plus 4b plus 12 is equal to 0 so solving this now we can then say b is equal to 3 or then we are bring in a formula and this is not yet the actual value of b because we still need to look we remember that we made an assumption here we made an assumption here that this should be the value of b so before we do that let's do this part so to continue this part which is b to the power of 2 plus b 4b plus 12 so let's bring our a is equal to 1 our b is equal to 4 and our c is equal to 12 so we bring in negative b plus minus the root of b squared negative 4ac all over 2a so we put this all inside the formula so our a our b is 4 so negative 4 plus minus the root of b that is 16 we put 4 here to the power of 2 16 negative 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 12 that is that give us like 48 so all over 2 multiplied by 1 which is our a so solving this now 
we have this as saying this is negative 4 plus minus the root of 16 negative 4 multiplied by that that is 48 all over 2 so solving this now this is then going to give us as negative 4 plus minus the root of this will be um So 16 minus this, this will be negative 32 all over 2. So solving this now, we can then get here saying this will give us as we can still open this place by saying negative 4 plus minus the root of 16 multiplied by negative 2. And this is all over 2. And then we can then explain here by saying this is negative 4 plus minus and the root of the root of 16 that gives us 4. And we are left with negative 2. So negative 2 here, which you can add our i because it becomes a complex number. So all over 2. So negative 4 plus minus for the root of this is 2i. Complex number because of the negative sign under this. So divided by 2. So all we need to do 4 divided by 2 and this divided by 2. So we will then be left by here by saying our b is equal to negative 2 plus minus 2 the root of 2i so this becomes the value of b and this value of b cannot be determined here so because even if we say recall that 2x is equal to negative 2 plus minus 2 the root of 2i the value of x here cannot be determined so let's get the actual value of x and that is from the first point which we've solved here by saying our b is equal to 3 so if our b is equal to 3 from this part let's recall recall that b is equal to 2x so solving this now this is then going to give us as 2x is equal to 3 so we bring in our natural log reading that is ln 2x is equal to ln 3 so bring this back what so this is x ln2 is equal to ln3 so solving this now we then divide both sides by ln2 divide by ln2 this cancel this and then therefore our x is equal to ln base 2 power of 3 so having this now this become the value of our x so we can check so let's check to be sure that we are correct so let's do the checking here So we are told that our question is 8x plus 4x is equal to 36. So to be sure that if we are correct or not, so we say x, where x is that, and when we've opened the bracket, remember we had this as 2x power of 3 plus 2x to the power of 2 is equal to 36. So let's be sure if we put that answer here as x, it will be correct. So this will be 2 ln 2 3 to the power of 3 plus 2 ln 2 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. So checking this now, this will be since this 2 and this, this and this, once they are the same, it becomes 1. So pick the 3. So this becomes 3 to the power of 3 plus this and this, the same. That is 2 to the power of ln 2, the same, become 1. So this, we are left with only the 3 as the power become the base. So to the power of 2 is equal to 36. So 3 to the power of 3, that is 27. Plus 3 to the power of 2, that is 9, is equal to 36. So it's obvious that this is equivalent to this. So this, our answer, satisfies the equation that our x is equal to ln2. Final answer. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.